Occam, Occam is the principle states that for two or more competing statements or explanations, the one with fewest assumptions is most likely to be correct. That means if an explanation have too much if statement, too much assumptions, then it, sh it should be discarded over other explanation that is simplest and straightforward. So where we can use Occam as a use principle. The first can be whenever you want to make a rapid decision at that point of time, this is the one of the best principle to use. Second one will be if you want to draw initial conclusions when you are solving a problem or you are considering a situ situation, then this principle might help you. So let's talk about some of the limitations of Occam Razor principle. The number one would be the word simplest can be different from one person and for another person considering the situation. So let's say for me, the simplest can be X, but for the, the, the person who is seeing the same situation, the simplest can be Y. Second limitation is that in Occam is a principle, you necessarily can't find the truth always because simplest doesn't mean the truth. You need to have some good amount of evidence in order to reach the truth. And third can be, it, 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 this might help in finding in drawing some initial conclusion but for drawing the end conclusion or to finding some end result, this particular principle is not so helpful. So let's take an example to understand Occam Razor better. A person saw a bright flash through his curtains and it's raining outside. One explanation can be it's because of lightning and second can be due to the UFO. If we consider Occam Razor principle, we'll shave off all the possible explanation that have more number of assumptions and in this case explanation to have more number of assumptions so this means the simplest explanation we have is explanation number one that is it's because of lightning in this example a patient reaches out to a doctor with horrible flu-like symptoms now explanation one can be the patient have contracted ebola or something from ebola or second can be the patient is having normal flu now if we apply occam as a principle in explanation one for having ebola not only you need flu-like symptoms for other symptoms as well. So the chances of occurring or likely to have Ebola is less than explanation number two. That is, let looks like the simplest solution. So what's the formula of Occam Razor principle? It's pretty simple. You have to consider the particular situation or statement. Then you have to find all the possible explanation at that time, at that situation. By asking what could have happened, you will be able to find different explanation. Now, for each explanation, you have to find number of assumptions it has. For example, for explanation one, you have three assumptions. For two, you have two assumptions. And for three, you have come up with four assumptions. Now, as per the principle, we have to consider the simplest, assumption, simplest explanation with fewer assumptions. And in this case, explanation number two has fewer assumptions. Now, it's the time for exercise. In this first exercise, Let's say a team started behaving in ways that are damaging their, their productive output. Now there are two possible explanations for this. There might be some of the people in the team that is actually against the company and spreading the word, spreading the hate. The explanation two can be the team is on the verge of burnout due to overload, due to work overload. Now you have to find which is the likely to be correct explanation and why. I have another exercise for you. Let's say you came home one evening and you see your kitchen tidy and clean. Explanation one can be that your teenage cousin felt good and felt inspired to clean the home, to clean the kitchen. The second explanation can be your teenage cousin was experimenting in the kitchen, created mess and then clean it. So which one is likely to be correct and what's the reason behind it? With that, thank you so much for being here with me. I hope that this video adds value to your life. In the description, you can find the link to notes. You can go through it and you can also share it with your friends. Thank you so much.